Last week, we found out if the pumpkin season was bountiful, and the answer was yes. Today, News 10's Joseph Dames is carving into the science of the pumpkin with our biology expert to learn more about the famous Halloween symbol. What is a pumpkin? All pumpkins are squash, but not all squash are pumpkins. We can all spot one, but it's more unique than that. Most accepted definition of a pumpkin, right? Nice and orange, got these nice ridges down the side, a little curved stem with prickles on it. And how about this family name? Cucurbita peepo. This, the traditional jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. But now, what about these squash? Different textures, different colors, and different sizes. What about the insides? In a botanical sense, really, we have four different looking pumpkins here. There's about 60 known genes. 60 genes that give Jack O'Lantern his physical traits. But before you carve the face in, this is how they work. Let's look at the different color of these pumpkins here. So we might have a couple of genes that are represented by these different types of coins. So if you have this coin and this coin, so that gene and that gene, you might be an orange pumpkin. But if you have that gene and this gene, you might be white. If you have this gene and that gene, but not these, then you might be a bluish color. And what about all the slimy stuff you clean out on the inside? These are the seeds, and this outer covering, the rind, is the actual fruit. This portion here is what you eat when you eat pumpkin. So what is all this goopy stuff? This stringy material here is technically known as the funiculus. It's a piece of tissue that acts like an umbilical cord that attaches and nourishes the developing seed to the fruit. In Terre Haute, I'm Joseph Dames, Storm Team 10. You may have also heard of a gourd, another type of squash that is considered inedible, unlike a pumpkin or squash, which you can definitely enjoy eating.